Good morning, everyone. We are the ICT 4014 project team number one, presenting our project proposal titled Performance Predictor, a data mining tool and machine learning software for student performance outcomes. My name is Ivy Chisha, and presenting with me are Mutune Chaiwela, David Pungwa, Dani Siababa, and Biden Simokoko. I'll begin by describing our project. So student performance in any educational institution is very important as it serves one of the measurements of performance of these institutions. Predicting performance outcomes is nothing new as many educators use data derived from attendance, grades, and other various forms of data that is linked to determining performance outcomes. However, identifying students who are potentially at risk of failing can be cumbersome due to the large volumes of data that needs to be analyzed. And this tends to be time consuming and crucial when it comes to analyzing proper correction me mechanisms to be executed. Therefore, our project proposes to create a model that involves data mining and machine learning in order for educators to identify students who are at risk of failing, particularly students of ICT 1110 at the University of Zambia, and also to enable lecturers and tutors to execute appropriate correction mechanisms for the aforementioned students. Following up with the presentation, I'll leave it to the next presenter. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Adan Siababa. I'll continue where I has ended. I'll talk about problem statement and related work. Over the past two years, University of Zambia has recorded the high poor performance among the students doing ICT 1110 in the School of Education. The reason to this could be class attendance, work overload, less course content interactions, and familiarity with computer software, demographics, and other things. The main objective of this project is to investigate feasibility and implementing machine learning models for automatically predicting student at risk of failing. While well, the specific objectives are as follows. The first one is to identify inputs features that are correlated with ICT 1110 students. The second one is to implement classification models for predicting students at risk of failing ICT 1110. The third one is to implement appropriate APIs and user interface for predicting with a classification model. The project will seek to answer the following questions. The first question is, to what feature, features are correlated with the student performance in ICT 1110? The second one is to is it feasible to implement a classification model for predicting students at risk of failing ICT 1110? Lastly, how should useful and usable classification model for predicting a student at risk of failing ICT 1110 be deployed? From here, I'll move to the related work. While, while the reviewed work shares some similarities with the project model, there are some gaps which has been which has not been addressed by the related work. I mean by the reviewed work. The first one is that the reviewed papers did not address how students should be informed on their risk of failure. The reviewed work also did not address the need to provide academic solutions to students that are, are at risk of failing. From here, my colleague will pick it up. With Mutune Chaibila, and I'll continue from where my friend has ended from. I'll look at proposed solution. Our project model will involve data mining and machine learning. Therefore, data mining is a process of finding anomalies, patterns, and correlation within large data set, data sets to predict outcomes. Therefore, machine learning is the science of getting computers to act without being explicitly programmed. Then the figure below shows the block diagram of our project model. How it will work. First, data collection. We collect data using elicitation techniques inter of interviews and questionnaires. And then data will be processed into data sets. 
and then the machine learning algorithms to train the data sets will be applied. And then here, after that, the trend classifier will be able to predict new, will be able to take in new data. And then a prediction labeled out, output tool. Then we move on to the next. Our project model built around the cross industry standard process for data mining, which is commonly referred to as Chris Gem model. It has six phases, ranging from business understanding up to deployment. The first phase is business understanding, which is basically to understand the problem to be solved. It generally involves the general specific objectives, situational analysis, broad goals of data mining process and project planning. Then the second phase is data understanding, which involves identification of data sources, initial data collection, data quality assessment. Then the third phase is data preparation, relating to data selection process, data pre-processing, data transformation and derivation, data imaging, data formatting, and also data description. Then the fourth phase is modeling, which defines the model components, how, how the model behaves and how to interpret it. It also involves evaluating the various alternative techniques that can be integrated with the model. Then the fifth phase is evaluation, which is the which generally involves the evaluation techniques to be used considering the efficiency versus the effectiveness of the algorithms. Then the sixth phase is deployment, which involves which generally involves to determine how the model results will be presented to the end users and also identify end users that will need to use the model results. At this point, my colleague continues. Um, some and I'll continue from where my colleague ended. I'll talk about ethical consideration as well as the project management. So ethical consideration is another pertinent aspect of any research which should be considered. And some of the measures which should be undertaken in order to ensure compliance with these ethical issues are as follows. Not forcing the respondents to answer the questions. Identities of the respondents are going to be kept confidential. During the research, the respondents' responses will never be interfered nor contested by the researchers. Furthermore, informed consent will be obtained from respondents. Also carrying out the research, the right of self-determination will be highly upheld to allow the respondents to decide whether to participate in the study or not. Additionally, the researchers will communicate to the participants before involving them in the study. The researchers will also openly inform the respondents that they have the right to withdraw and the effect of their withdrawal in the study will be explained. Lastly, all respondents will be assured of the benefits which will be obtained from the findings of the study. Thus, respondents will receive equal treatment by the researchers who we'll move to the next part. Uh, with us, the project management, we've got different artifacts and among them, there is the list management, WBS, Gantt chart, as well as we have the last chart, WBS, Leaks Management, as well as the Gantt chart. And WBS, all not to say, is the cornerstone of every effective project planning, execution, controlling, monitoring, and reporting. And with our WBS, we've got different parts, which we've got five different processes which, which we are going to consider when undertaking it. We also have the last chart that has different roles and tasks which are going to be done by the group members. And also have the leaks management with various leaks that we thought we may encounter or undertaking the research with the strategies of how we are going to monitor it. We also have the Gantt chart, which will, will help us to assess how long the project will, undertaken, will be undertaken, as well as determining the resources which will be needed. We approximated the, this whole milestone within the period of 118 days, which is from 21st April to 5 November 2021. My colleague will continue. Thank you very much. To continue where Biden has left, my name is Pungo David. And I'll talk about the anticipated outcomes of this project. The anticipated outcome of, of, uh, of this project is that student performance will be predicted. Uh, the software system will be able to predict the students who will be at risk of failing ICT 1110 and classify them into high risks, medium risks, and low risks. The benefits of, uh, of the software is going to bring is that Students will be able to know in time as to whether they are at risk of failing, hence they'll be able to work extra hard and possibly avoid the incidents from happening. On the other hand, the lecturers 
also be able to know which student is at risk of failure, hence taking measures on how best such a student can be helped. Moving on, what are the, who are the beneficiaries of, uh, of this project? The beneficiaries are the students and the lecturers. The students will benefit in the sense that they will be, uh, they will be reminded in time that they are likely to fail the course, hence they'll be able to adjust in their studies to avoid failing. While the lecturers, on the other hand, will benefit in the sense that they will be able to know who is likely to fail, hence find features to help such students and reduce the number of students failing the ICT 11 course. Moving on, I present to you the references concerning this presentation. Thank you very much.